Welcome to App Out. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create incredible iOS and Android native and PWA mobile apps using templates or just a keyword for your business, for your client's business, for other local businesses, or even just a friend. Now, once you log into App Out's dashboard, you will see a list of all your apps on this right here corner. To start creating a new app, you mouse over on this little icon and you can create apps either manually by picking a template or automatically let me show you the automatic way all you have to do is pick a, pick a category here you can pick one of those multiple templates that we have and give your app a name and that's it right here you pick a subdomain you give it a color upload the icon you upload enter your email your address contact details click, click publish and you enter the editor mode now let me show you how you can create an app using templates you click on manual app creation and it'll present you a bunch of templates that you can start customizing and start creating your app all these com templates come with pages with text content everything added now let's say i want to create a uh, app about a bread shop so i'm going to select this template now i can preview it completely here all the features are here i can have a map i can have my social in it i can have footers i can have a contact form i can have a shop in it i can create multiple menu pages anything i want now if i want to edit this i click on continue with selected template and it'll take me to the editor now this is the same editor you'll end up when you're trying to create app automatically using a keyword Right here, you give your app a name, the email address where your customers and your app viewers can contact you. You can pick a subdomain where you, you can also access your PWA app on any device. You can change the app icon. You can change the app country, time zone. In fact, you can change the splash screen. Again, you can add, change the app logo. You can change the color of the splash screen if you want, or you can add a gradient from a bunch of pre-created options, or you can just create your own if you want to from linear and radial options. You can add your external and internal scripts for header and footer. You can add notification. You can add app notification. If somebody uh, subscribes using their email, you will get a notification, a cookie content notification. You can just turn it on, add your message. You can have installation bar. You can turn on and turn off. You can add statuses, a description. In the authentication settings, you can enable registration and email verification. So in case you are creating membership inside your mobile app, you can enable user registration. All users who register on your app, you will collect all their information, name and email, and will be available inside the app house, which I'll show you in a minute. You can upload your uh, email address, your contact details, and all the other details. If you're running an e-commerce store inside your app, you can add your SMTP details. If you want to be sending emails using your mobile app, and we also have a bunch of integration for autoresponders, for SMS and Google settings. Plus, you can enable PayPal, Stripe, Square, Paystack, pay Razorpay, cash and delivery, and also add shipping option for your e-commerce store or for your membership, paid membership that you can create inside the app. So these are the basic settings, the general settings of your app. You can preview everything as you make changes. You can see it on the editor right over here. Now move on to the pages and element. This is where you can modify all the pages that have already been pre-created for you by the template. So as you can see, these pages have been pre-created for you. You can customize these pages as you like, or you can just select the Visivig editor that we have on the app. So let's say I want to edit this section. So I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to click on this little settings icon. And it's going to load up all the details about this section and then i can just click on it and customize i can change it to image i can change the image i can change the link where this link will go with this image will go to pretty much change and customize anything i want i can change the element style to whatever i want i can change uh, let's say i want to change it to a different color i can do that the changes you have full control over the look and feel you can add slideshows anything you want same way you can edit about this page right over here again you can change anything you can add any of the new elements as well you can add a text a media a greeting a button a countdown timer an iframe you can load a different website inside your app a slider a form for uh you know email collection ratings maps social sharing grid list items you can put bullets you can add products if you're creating an e-commerce page for your e-commerce store you can put a booking form to collect bookings for your restaurants for reservations for your doctor appointment for a lawyer appointment you can even add 
an online and offline loyalty program which i'll show you in a minute so your customers can collect coupons which they can later redeem for points and other services you can add subscription if you're creating custom membership inside your uh, page if you want to control if a certain page in your app can only be accessed by people by users who have created an account and to create an account they've paid for your service which i'll show you in a minute and again you can customize all of these pages you can create new page if you want you can add new page you simply click on add new page button here and you can add a new page now moving on to the menu and navigation again full control over it you can customize it as you want you can customize your main menu you can change the icon of everything you can have it as inline you can have it as a block icon you can have it as an icon only and you'll have a full preview of it over here you can change and customize the profile menu of your users when they have created an account you can change the footer menu this little menu that you see here you can add more stuff here you can enable disable by just one click and you can change the main menu style as well you can change from default to top menu you can have it like this you can change it to menu right it could be like this whichever position you want you can do it and then finally you get theme customization so you can completely change the branding color theme and everything uh, about your app so it looks perfectly synced to your business and not somebody else and you have full control over customization once this is done you save the template and publish the app now let me show you once the app is published what happens here you get a qr code which you can of course take a screenshot or print and give to your client you also get a url that you can share with your client if they want to preview how the app is when they open this url on their mobile phone they will be able to download the app just like this little icon that shows up when you tap on this icon the app will download on their android phone um you can also see all the app installs you have how many page views you have how many registrations you have how many leads you have generated during a specific uh date range now you can also immediately download the android apk file by clicking on this link right over here so you download the android apk file then you can upload that file on um, uh, android play store or you can generate the ios app package so you can use it and upload it on the apple store if you want to publish the app that you've created on apple store for yourself and for your client now there are a couple of other things over here on the app data you can see full stats about all the app how many visitors you've had what kind of rating you have how many app users you have how many phone data has been collected you can see it completely uh, on the map where your user demographic is coming from next you can see how many leads do you have you can send notification, push notification to every single person who has access to your uh, PWA app or downloaded your PWA app or downloaded your native app on Android or iOS. You can send SMS to anybody who has uh, submitted their phone number. You can manage your booking so you can create new re new kinds of booking. So, for example, you create a reservation for table booking here. You can add this inside any app that you create. Same way you can create new bookings in any of the bookings that you create, you can have them uh, free registration or paid registration, PayPal, Stripe, or even cash on counter option. So this way you can also run membership sites. And of course you can have online and offline loyalty program. You can create a new loyalty program by creating a new one, or you can just edit the one that you've created and you can add these loyalty program right inside any app that you created. Now for e-commerce, you can create multiple products. You can create multiple product categories and you can add all these products in any app that you create. And then you can also manage all these orders. You can have somebody managing these orders, doing the shipment, marking them as shipped and you can also manage all the subscriptions if you're selling subscriptions for your membership sites or even for a physical product again tons and tons of real things that you can do with app house and uh, it's one of the most easiest way to create an android and ios pwa or even a native mobile app using tons of templates using just a keyword whichever way you prefer if you have any questions feel free to reach out to our team we'll be happy to help you and i'll see you on the inside cheers